Congratulations. You well? I'm good, man. Um, I, I'm sure you've had countless interviews and, and questions about the Big Brother experience and whatever. We want you here as a consultant. Did it work? Yeah. We had our our cheese boy in there, Akim. Yeah. No, I don't. I do like. It. Is, is that why? Is that what he's being called? The cheese boy. The cheese boy. Yes, that's Q's name because I I was supposed to be there. Okay. I mean, after you. But they chose him. For what purpose, I don't know. It's I would have a six pack. Nothing, it's nothing ah, personal. Ah, okay. It's okay. nothing personal, my guy. But he's out now. Yeah. Right? You, besides Wendell, who we still don't know to this day why he won. So, whenever we speak of Big Brother, we speak of Muni. Okay. You went in there, you had impact. Almost won, you were robbed. And so on. Hakim goes in, we don't understand what he did, he's out. Right. What did he do wrong? What do you do when you're in the house? What's the environment like, you know? I think you know what? Um, the, the, the trouble with the Big Brother house is that it changes every year. But once you get in there, you need to remember first things first. You're playing a game. Right. You know what I mean? Everybody's in there and they're competing against each other. Right. And you have people who are watching you. The minute you forget that, then everything sort of gets thrown out the window. I, I think with Hakim, I mean, look, I, I didn't really uh, follow him as much as I, I, I should have, but I think he forgot that. I think he forgot the fundamental rule. Look, this is a game. And also, sometimes it's just got nothing to do with it. It's just hard luck. I mean, people people don't like you. They'll vote you out. It's that simple. Yeah, that's simple. You know, it's, it's not so much about what, what happens in there. It's about what people see from outside because they're the ones who vote, you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because you know that's 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 what I was saying. He was very quiet, very to himself. When you enter the house, how much of Munya Kitonga do you take into the house? Or do you shut off completely and say, listen, I'm playing this game, this is me. Or Mami Daddy, what you will see in the house, please forgive. I think it's a look it's impossible to, to divorce yourself entirely from your own experience. People always ask me that. I mean, do you go in there and, and you know, are you, are you acting? Are you, you know? And I always say to them, look, you are being yourself in an artificial environment. You know what I mean? Like, the environment that you are in is fake. Mm -hmm. But everything, the response to it is real. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Okay. So, I think, it's just, I mean, look, it's the same as like, I mean, if you if you go through a certain situation in a certain place, uh, you'll respond to it a certain way, right? Uh, like, let's say, I don't know, someone robs you in Zimbabwe. Right. If someone robs you in Zimbabwe, you'll respond to it a certain way. If someone robs you in the UK, you'll respond to it a different way. The environment changes, but the stimulus is still the same. Terrible example, but I'm no, sure you get the I, I, I get, get what gist. you're saying. I get what you're saying. Right. Yeah. I get what you're saying. And so, our girl though, our girl is in there, she seems to be doing well. Uh, does she have what it takes to go all the way? Because she's being nominated every week. You see, I think she might actually. I think, you know, I think she does, you know, because she's popular. And you know, at, the, at the end of the day, that's all you need. Where it might be a bit difficult for her is the fact that women are the biggest voter. Right, right, right. Um, which should have saved Hakim, but I think, you see, if the women don't like you, if the women get upset with you, then you're in trouble. Okay. I'm talking about the housewives and the, and the super moral, moralistic yeah, Africans, yeah, the ones yeah, who exactly. sit there and judge other people. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, th I, I, I have this feeling that she can. Okay. I think she can last, um, I mean, but I mean, look, the game is very unpredictable. Yeah, it is. Um, I mean, she's nominated again this week. Again. So I, I just hope she has the head to, you know, I ho hope she can keep herself together, right. you know, because after a while, the pressure of nomination, it makes you not very likable. Yeah. And well, that's if you can't handle the pressure, because there's a lot of pressure. I mean, it's, you know, I, I, I find it difficult to watch the show, yeah. like particular nomination and eviction time, because you just, that you music, my, right. I was actually at one of the nomination parties, uh, or eviction parties, right. and 
my guy, it was like reliving the whole experience, you know, the music, and I could feel my heart beating. It's like, it's like Pavlov, Pavlov's dog, you know? Right, right, right. Where you're conditioned to feel a certain way when something, when exactly. certain things happen, yeah. yeah. So, back to my cheese boy of the month, because I should have been there, not him, but anyway. He's out now, right? You're the only one that we've seen you know, to, to do something outside of Big Brother and so on. And we both felt that's what it's about. You know, where does he go from here? He's a model, he's a, what do you do to gain from, you know, the Big Brother push? I think, look, um, point of correction, I think there's, there's been a couple of guys, people who've done, who've done stuff. I mean, Bumbai is doing very well at Star Just. Okay. Um, uh, Wendell's um, she set up some some businesses here mm -hmm. that seem to be doing quite well. Um, look, I, I think the only person who can answer that is Hakim. Right. Because what I always say to people is that you know when they always ask me, like, should I go into the house? You need to know why you're going in and what you're going in for. You know, so if he didn't have a plan before going in. It'll be very difficult to leverage it, but fortunately, look, he's a good-looking dude. He's a model. You know what I mean? Right. Um, he can. I'm sure he can. He can pick something up from that. I mean, you know, we've got Zim Fashion Week coming up. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. All of that stuff. So. No, cool stuff. And all right, what's up with what's up with Munya? What's Munya? What is he doing? Ooh, million dollar question. Um, I think I can safely say I'm busy being a husband and a father. Right. Uh, or anything else, um, and I'm still making films. Okay. There's a film we've just completed. Uh, in fact, it's actually going to be premiering in August. Ah, nice. In August, yeah. It's nice. something nice from London. Okay. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do the big premiere. We're gonna invite everybody. You guys are gonna be there. Right, right. But why wasn't I there to act in it? You see, I, I, you are not do that. We've spoken about this. Okay. Q, all we've right. spoken about this. No, it's okay. I can't afford you. No, it's all right. The tea apparently is on the house, so I think yes, it's no, as it, good as it gets. It, it, I is young and on the top of you Check out. The top of you So yeah. let's leave it at that. I can't afford you, my guy. No, no but it, next, next movie, next movie. Next movie, yeah. we shall work. Yeah. Guys, the man. Munya, Mabanzi, 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 this has been my life.